Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning. Time to get it going on. I got two things going on. Hold on, let me turn this TV down so we can hear. Okay, y'all know I'm a TV person. Had it up. Didn't mean to have it that loud, though. Anywho, what I'm doing right here, my Philadelphia peoples made a uh, special request. This is something that's going to take about five or ten minutes to do. So I can do that since I got to lay everything out anyway. What I was asked to do by my Philadelphia folks is to video and upload for you all to see from shopping to prep to the table to you know to actual cooking to the table i did some of that last uh my first time that i did thanksgiving dinner which was like a little bit too much but this time i'll do it a little bit different so what you see here are the meats except for one turkey and some beef that i gotta purchase so this is what i'm gonna do we're gonna start on this end here this is some regular spare ribs by smithfield i got two slabs of those then i've got Three slabs of baby back ribs there. You know how they come packaged three slabs to a bundle. So I got five slabs of ribs and I've got a ham. My ham is, got a deal on this one. It is, uh, I think it's a 15, 14 pound turkey or what is it? Is it 11 pound? Okay. It's 11 pound, about almost 12 pound ham. I have a shady brook farms a uh, young turkey and tony's going to bring me a butterball turkey so i'm going to have two turkeys i am going to put one turkey on the grill and the other one is going to be the the one that tony's bringing me the big broad breasted butterball it's going to go in the oven that'll be my traditional uh baked turkey for my stuffing and for eating and right here i've got some cooking meat y'all know you got to get the rank meat for them greens Okay, this is my cooking meat, and this is just country ham hocks that's been smoked, and they got that little rank smell. Y'all know, y'all know about no rank meat, so I'm gonna be doing two pots. I'm not gonna put a lot in because now, ordinarily, two pieces would go in, but I'm just gonna do one piece in each pot, and I'll finish seasoning them up with some, um, with you know, with the, the chicken broth and my, you know, all my other seasoning. But you gotta have this now. If you're gonna cook collards, you gotta have at least, uh one piece of that rank meat in there to make it taste like it's supposed to taste okay moving right along i went ahead because uh i wasn't sure about my sweet potatoes this year normally my girlfriend doris uh gives me all the sweet potatoes that i can use now she reminded me but i forgot so anyway when i was at the piggly wiggly yesterday i thought let me go ahead and purchase some sweet potatoes so i've taken some out of this package and I, you'll see them over on the flavor train today so i bought two big packs of sweet potatoes but darcy's gonna give me more these potatoes here are for my sweet potato pies okay and then later on i'm going to be making candy yams out of some in fact i'm going to show you when i do the uh small sunday dinner that i'm doing today and we're going to go on out here on the back porch and i'm going to show you uh the let's see let's go on the back porch unlock the door go on to the back porch here still got the generator right here so when i got to piggly wiggly i'm sorry yesterday they had boxes of collars so i went ahead and got the whole box so um as you can see, I've not even opened them yet, but I put them out here on the court so they can stay cool. So that's supposed to be 10 bunches in here, okay? So these are my collars, and like I said, I've got the whole box. Um, so y'all can imagine later on this afternoon. And they're beautiful. Just look at how pretty they are. Let me see. Make sure y'all can see them real good. Yeah, there they are. Okay. Look at how pretty those greens are. They are gorgeous. So that's my box of collars. I think I paid um, $18 for the entire box. It was a lot cheaper because somebody was in there. Can you believe you think this is something? There was one lady in there. So she uh, she bought two boxes. So I said, well, uh, how many people do you have to feed? She said 10 or 12. She had about two boxes. Can you imagine? I thought, well, now wait a minute. My folks eat, but come on. They don't eat that much. So, anywho, I'm going to get these cleaned up later on and uh, get them on the stove. And what I don't use for Thanksgiving, I will be using them for uh, Christmas. Or I might even give the neighbors. It depends on what, the, what it looks like once I get into them to see if I need to cook the entire box. 
or if I need to just give away a few bunches. I, you know, I'm always obliged to do that. But it's cheaper or more economical to buy the whole box because I think one bunch, I think they were like two fifty or two dollars or whatever, and there's ten in here. So you figure save a couple of bucks by buying the entire box. So. There's my collard greens. Uh, normally, I go down the street a ways and get them out of the field fresh cut. But someone told me um, that that gentleman lost his entire crop during the flood. So, I don't want to take any chances. So, I went ahead and bought a box of collards, y'all. So, um, about ready to get back here in the house and finish up what I'm doing. So, I can, uh, I'm going to upload this video for you today. And then later on, I'll... Uh, be uploading the Sunday dinner. Now, Sunday dinner is going to be short and sweet today. Uh, we got a family outing planned for later, and I'm just going to put together something that's good and quick to eat. So, I'll let y'all share that in a minute. Also, with the shopping, I still have uh, a ton of food to buy. So, hold on. Let me get back inside. Okay. I'm back inside. So, back over here to what I've already purchased. I've purchased all of the meat that I'm going to cook except that I'm going to buy some of those. Remember, I've cooked those beef fingers, so we'll have some pork, beef, and turkey. So we'll have two kinds of turkey, two kinds of pork ribs, a ham, and um, the beef fingers. So I got to go to, uh, still got to go to the commissary. I'm praying that they got them out there this week. Y'all, you know what? I have to make a confession. I am a whole week behind on this cooking because guess what? I had Thanksgiving being. The week after next so i normally would have had all this stuff all my sweet potato filling would have been done my collars would have been done but who knew i'm gonna be rolling this week so i'll be giving you little tidbits on different things that i can my do ahead stuff because um let me just get my little list out here okay for thanksgiving 2018 the meats are going to be roasted turkey grilled turkey Baby back ribs, the traditional baby back ribs, spare ribs with the Thai chili sauce. I made that, experimented with that a few Sundays ago. Uh, the whole baked ham and some beef rib fingers. That's going to be the meat. Okay, the sides we're going to have is going to be stuffing, collards, shrimp, mac and cheese, green beans, cranberry sauce, potato salad, rice and gravy, and of course rolls. And for dessert, we'll have a uh, sweet potato pie, chew bread, banana pudding, and brownies. And, of course, lemonade and tea. And my good old homemade wine that's just waiting to get into a glass. So, keep tuned in with me because when I go back to the store again now, um, for my Philly family, I still got some more shopping to do. This is just part of it. But I thought since I already had this, I can pull it out and let y'all see it because I needed to see what I had anyway. Okay, so now I still got to go to the store and buy, you know, the other food I got to buy, you know, the shrimp, the mac and cheese. I got to get some green beans, the cranberry sauce, potato salad mix. And I've got the stuff already for rice and gravy and all like that. But I still got other stuff that I need to buy to make this list complete. So this is part one of uh, shopping for Thanksgiving. We're going to call it, you know, Thanksgiving shopping, some kind of way I'll put it in there. But anyway, this is part one, Philly people. Hey, y'all, shout out to y'all. Hope everything's going well. Hope you're not getting any snow up that way. And if you are, please be safe. So until I come up with part two after I go to the grocery store, either later on today or tomorrow, I'm going to say have a blessed Sunday. Cook you something good to eat today. Be safe. Keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. Love you guys. I'll see you on the flavor train. Toodaloo.